This is how I draw the fish in lesson three in Adobe Illustrator. I start at the upper lip. I drag out a direction handle to describe his forehead, let's call it. And I go all the way up to where I picture his fins starting. And I drag another direction handle there, two direction handles to let me control that curve of the top of the fish. I want the path to shoot up this way now, so I'm going to hold the Option key and break this handle and point it up. That tells Illustrator the path is going to go up this way now until it goes up to this anchor point here. I drag right here to describe the top of his fin. I need an anchor point here because I want the fin to kind of sweep back forward again. So I click and drag right here, and instead of having just one little hump here, it kind of sweeps back and comes forward again. Now the direction of the path shoots straight back this way, so I'm going to hold the Option key again. I'm going to break this handle, aim it straight back this way. I'm going to go all the way down the back of the fish to where I picture the tail starting, and I'm going to drag almost parallel to that last handle to create kind of an S shape right there. And now the tail starts. It's kind of a full tail up here in my in my head and so I'm going to break this handle and tell the path to shoot straight up. I hold the option key, break that handle, point it straight up. I go up here around, uh, I'm going to move this, I go up here around the top of the tail to where I picture um, the tip of the tail being and I'm going to drag here and I have these two handles creating this big full curve there. Now the tail, in my mind, it sweeps back in here towards the front of the fish again. So I'm going to press and drag here to create a smooth point right there. In my head again, I'm going down around the bottom of the tail and I'm going to, I picture it being right here, I'm going to press and drag right here to create a big full round bottom of the tail. And then it comes back up to where it, it uh, attaches to the body of the fish again right here. I'm going to press and drag right there. I'm not completely happy with these curves, but I'll come back later and adjust those with the white arrow. The path goes forward now, so I am going to hold the Option key and break that handle and tell the path to go forward. And sort of like up here, I'm going to go to where I picture the bottom fin starting, and I'm going to press and drag handles that are almost parallel to get a nice S curve there. How do I break this handle? I'm going to hold the Option key and break that and tell it to go tell the path to shoot straight down. And again, the fin kind of sweeps back like this. So I'm going to go as far as I can around that path in my head and I'm going to press and drag right here and describe the back half of that fin. And I'm going to go up to where I picture it um, touching the fish's body and I'm going to press and drag there. That handle's a little too long, but I'll come back and adjust that later. I'm going to hold the Option key break that handle and tell the path to shoot straight forward from here. Then I'll put my cursor up here where the fish's mouth is the lower lip and I'll press and drag to kind of describe his chin. Hold the Option key and break this handle because now the path sweeps in to describe this uh, mouth on the fish. Here's a tricky thing. If I, um, if I press and drag here to describe that mouth, it messes up the fish's forehead. So I'm going to hit Command Z to um, undo that move. I am holding the Option key when I drag this last path. And now it does not upset this handle up here. And it shoots another handle out this way. A, a broken handle, I'll call it. So there, there's the fish. Now I would go back with the white arrow. I'm going to tap the A key to select the white arrow. And I could do things like I could select these anchor points and pull them forward because I'm not happy with where that fin ended up. I can grab this direction handle and shorten some of these up. I'm sorry, grab that anchor point and shorten some of those up to make the fish just the shape I want it to be. I wish these were a little bit more round. I can adjust the angle of these until I get that fin looking real round on the top. Same thing here. This might be a little too long. Adjust its position so that I can get it a little more round, not so much flat there. So that's how you draw the fish. Um, I hope you like it. I'll show you how to draw the other fish in another movie. Thanks. Bye.